find myself wondering what the world must have been like before the bear crashed into our frail planet, transforming all we once knew into a colorful kaleidoscope of delicious chaos. And I love it. The world was more hospitable, no doubt. More orderly, more sensibly sickening because it sounded boring. And I hate being bored. I can't imagine a world without the bear or the storms. Yes, the storms. Beautiful waves of emerald blood cry down from the heavens, promising death in lawless disarray, constantly upsetting the order. I get butterflies in my tummy just thinking about it. Yes. Yes! Speaking of which... Let's see. Oh, it's Horatio, the humble blueberry farmer, loving father, and the most boring creature on the face of this planet. But what's this? Looks like you've got a spicy situation on your hands, hmm? Well, it's been nice knowing you, Horatio. Not really. But now it's time for you to die. Yes, how exciting. Not for you, of course. Hmm. Blueberry and Oliver, I call Fiazzarone. Stay in the wagon, too. I said Horatio dies! Oops! Butterfingers! Naughty boys who don't listen get punished. With nothing but a handful of blueberries and a stupid look on his face, Horatio set out to find some shelter, burdened with the realization that none of this would have happened had he listened. And to make matters worse, he's got weak arms, and he's not all that handsome. I don't see what all the fuss is about. But all of this will haunt him until I decide to end his misery. What fun. Right, run, little man, you tiny coward! Run for shelter! It's not a trap, trust me. You should go to the roof. There's lots of shelters up there. Comforting shelters. Tons of shelters. Trust me, it's going to be awesome and shelterous. Yep, there's still more stairs. So much shelters. There's like five shelters. Can you dress it up, dog? With your kid? Hey, Horatio, look over there. Going up. Ding! What's this? A beautiful lady. She looks hungry. Horatio shared his blueberries. No, you shared your berries. Huh? How generous of you. How did you her win? name was Pipistrella, and though she looked more than capable, she requested Horatio's aid. You see, her castle was raided by grumpy warriors, and she doesn't like that very much. Go on, my little hero. Perhaps this could become a mutually beneficial relationship. <laughs> 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 Chaotic job, gentlemen. Go wreak havoc elsewhere. Oh, uh, sorry, Pip. Are you upset?
You're quite good at barely scraping by, aren't you, my resilient little worms? Yet, I could close my paw and squish you like the very berries Horatio's worthless farm produces. You're depressing me, Pip. Why the long face? Your hands are bloody with the sweet tang of revenge. Problem solved, right? So turn that frown upside down. Hey, uh, no! Oh, have we bonded? How precious. Uh, Horatio, do you like Hansel's? Eh? How do you like them, Hansels? Yes. yes. Shh. Here. Have some teeny tiny iced creams. I know you love them. Yeah. Oh. Fine. Starve! And what a curveball! Yeah. Hmm, Horatio? Yeah. Yeah. And speaking of curve... Yeah. And speaking of... Yeah. 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 Shut up! And speaking of curveballs, I think it's time for you and your ragtag crew of flunkies to return to that worthless rock you call home and rot in uncomfortable despair for the rest of your days! Ah! Sayonara! 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 Sayonara is Japanese for go die. What do you know? Shut up. I'll kill you. Being evil is exhausting. I really should have eaten breakfast today. Well, perhaps you should have thought about that before you slapped it out of my hand. How are you guys breathing up here? I mean, I'm no, I'm no scientist, but... Bullseye. And now let's go watch the Earth burn. With her castle in ruins and a very dead daddy, Pipistrella accompanies Captain Worthless. And what a woman. Her optimistic outlook and reckless bravery captivated Horatio. So much, in fact, that he immediately forgot about his son and eh? his home and... Eh, no, you got it. Yes, you did. How did you wish you? Where I you? see. Horatio gave Pipistrella the remainder of his blueberries, and they headed for the city. The perfect place to recuperate and make plans for Horatio's inevitable failure and death. Plus, there's a pretty good restaurant there that has great beef stew and cornbread. Yes, the city. How it bustles with excitement. Keep your wallet in your front pocket. Yum, yum. <laughs> I don't see how that ugly little snot bag is supposed to help you find an eyeball, though. Hmm? Oh, that's right, you can't see with your tiny, pathetic eyeballs. Just be quiet for a second. What? Ugh. What are you up to, you handsome blonde idiot? Shh, be quiet. Okay, that was just gross. Your stupid dad's stupid friend just ate the... Never mind. You don't want to know. Trust me. No, not the I... What is it with you and iced cream? Shut up! I'm trying to watch. Sorry I yelled. Just shut up. Please. Oh, I see. Well, good luck with that.
You all think you're so innocent and pure and good. Fighting the good fight. Hooray for you, heroes. What did I ever do to you? I never killed anyone, but you did. Oh, how I miss you, honey hug. I love you, honey hug. I love you, honey kiss. I love you, honey hug. I love you. Can it all make sense now? Yes, it all makes sense now. You want to know what happened? Here, I'll show you. Well, hooray for you guys. All your dreams came true. What about my dream? 